you will not win by temperature alone. But then it comes down to what are these cases about? How far you fill the line of the coffee cup matters. And the reason it matters is that line is designed so that when you're moving or walking or driving, the coffee can slosh back and forth, similar to an ocean wave. It's gotta have space to do it. If it's filled too high, it will knock the lid off. If it's filled too low, it won't gain suction between the cup and the lid. You cannot have the spout and the seam in alignment, they have to be in misalignment, okay? If those two are aligned, that coffee lid will always leak some, but it will be likely to pop off Then even the cup and lid itself. And when they're put together, you feel the suction and you hear and feel the click, and it's the innie and the Audi going together, just like a Ziploc bag or just like a railroad car that's sitting on the track. And if there is any contaminant, whatsoever. Now it could be a chink, meaning there could be a little cut in the lip or the cup. There could be a contaminant of some kind on the channel of the lid. If you go to put them together, they will not click together. That contaminant will cause them to be off, which means how you store the cups and the lids actually matter. Where you store them, how you store them, the system you use to store them.